I'm at my home base in Bundaberg and a few months ago I made a decision about having the radios and nav system updated in my Bonanza. It was a pretty simple upgrade, uh, one that was allowable to my budget and all of this was undertaken here under this roof of this World War II hangar here in Bundaberg. There were a number of reasons that prompted the upgrade, uh, particularly with the radios and their condition uh, due to old age and some issues during transmission. I put the aircraft into VFR, it was an IFR. I had to consider the reality that I only ever used the aircraft for VFR. To keep it in IFR just wasn't practical for me. So I've decided to remove the two ADFs and their radios, uh, the audio panel, the NAVCOM, COM2 and the HF and also the Trimble 2000 Navigator. In its place, I'm installing a new Garmin audio panel with Bluetooth, a GNC355 GPS navigator with a VHF comm, and also a GTR225 radio. I feel that the GNC355 GPS Navigator is just the right choice for this aeroplane uh, because it's a, a modest sized touchscreen and particularly its ability to integrate with my existing Century 3 Autopilot. After removing the seats, they revealed they were in poor condition, so I decided to do a refurb of the seats, and that requires to decide on some new trim. The roof and the side panels are in reasonable condition, so I've only decided to do the seats and the carpet at this stage, and I'm at that point of choosing a colour scheme. I've had lots of advice. Uh, some people go one colour, some people go two-tone, and I've decided to go a two-tone grey uh, with a dark charcoal carpet throughout the aeroplane. Now with the new avionics and new interior, there's just one more item that's needed to finish this all off. And that's a new aircraft cover. Here I'm about to uh, fire up. Uh, it's been sitting in the hangar for a while uh, since the upgrade, uh, so the voltage is probably down. Uh, so I'm just going to fire this thing up and warm up and uh, see what charge we get in the engine and go through the systems. Clear prop. Fired up and turned the radios on and GPS and everything's looking good and as I expected the voltage is a little low on startup and we are at idle I just set 700 rpm just to warm things up 
and uh, I'll go and do some run-ups and not flying today but uh, will be an early morning departure tomorrow morning uh, where I've put everything to the test.